So yes, so now we have come to an end of the workshop. Uh, but the workshop has ended, but the learning opportunity has just begun for all of you. So here are some of the, some of the references that you can refer after the workshop when, you, when we wind up the workshop and you go back to your uh, learning centers and start learning. So you can refer cfd.fossi.in. I'll take you to the website and I'll walk you through all the tabs of the website and I'll, you, I'll let you know how can you involve with us, how can you participate in the project. Um, and there is a, found, a website called Open Form Foundation. You can refer to the Open Form Foundation as well. There is a forum called CFD-Online, CFD Online Forum. Uh, all the learn beginners, the learners from the uh, you know, basics and advanced level also, they all come and they interchange their uh, their problems and they, all, they also get solutions to their problems in this forum. So these are very uh, good learning resources of uh, Open Form for those who are starting it with Open Form. So here is uh, the information about students' participation in the Open Form project. So first of all, we have some projects uh, that goes throughout the year. You need not wait for the announcement of the semester long internship or summer fellowship. Uh, so the overall uh, projects are, number one is the case study project. So you can uh, work with your professors of your college and uh, work with them and let me explain how I mean, what, what do we call the case studies? What are case studies? So cases are small problems of CFD that can be solved using open form. So you can take up any uh, uh, CFD problem and you can use open form to solve the problem and you submit the solution as a case study. So that is what is known as a case study. So when uh, you are not enrolling yourself as a semester long intern or a summer fellow, you can take the guidance from uh, your faculty member of your of your institute uh, who will be guiding with you guiding you on this uh, case study project and our team members from uh, the open form team fossi will guide you on the open form part not the science part but the open form part uh, if you have any issues in simulations while solving the case so this is all about the case study project uh, we also have the research migration project now, what is a research migration and how is it different from a case study project? So cases are small problems of CFD, but a research migration project deals with research problems, the, the research uh, problems that are uh, published on renowned journals or conference proceedings. So those, uh, if you can take up the problem, uh, any uh, big research problem, and you replicate the same problem using open form. That is uh, a research migration project. Okay, so the time that you uh, that you will take to solve a research migration project will be a will will be little longer as compared to the case study project. We also have the lab migration project. So, what is a lab migration project? Uh, in uh, most of the institutes throughout the country, people use commercial software in their lab because the college have the colleges might have funding, so they purchase expensive licenses for commercial software and they run it in their labs to solve the CFD courses. But the open form team of FOSI uh, supports you to convert your labs from commercial from, from using commercial uh, uh, software and migrate the labs to open form. Okay, that is the lab migration project. So any faculty member from your institutes can propose uh, the problems that are to be taken up by as lab migration project problems and uh, the solution can be given by our team members or you or the faculty members or students from the respective colleges. So this is how the lab migration project works. Now, case study upgradation project. So I'll take you to the website and you can see that we have a list of more than 176 such case studies, uh, which were solved using Open Form 7, okay, uh, version, version 7, version 9. Okay, so we are uh, now trying to upgrade the cases um, that will compile to that, that will comply to the recent versions of Open Form. So after my talk ends, my colleague John will uh, actually let you know uh, what specifically what do you need to do if you want to contribute to the case study upgradation project. Uh, now let me talk about the semester long internship. So uh, I can see many of you have registered for the semester long internship. Uh, I mean. Um, uh, when those who are attending this workshop, 
I can see some of the names uh, of the participants and I can relate to the database that we have got uh, um, uh, as an application. So the semester long internships duration is three months. Uh, so we have our faculty members uh, of IT Bombay and outside IT Bombay who are our esteemed faculty partners of FOSI. So they actually guide you on the science part uh, of the uh, CFD problems that you'll be solving as a part of the semester long internship. And the open form team of FOSI will guide you on the uh, open form software part. Uh, they, they can guide you, they can address your problems, they can address your any of the issues faced by you while solving the problem using open form. Uh, similarly, summer fellowship we will announce. For, so for this year, 2024, we have already announced a semester long internship and we are in the process of evaluating all the screening tasks that are submitted. So for both the things, for summer fellowship and for the semester long internship, we float a, a problem statement, which is known as the screening task. So whoever will uh, successfully solve the, screen, the screening task will be eligible uh, for the programs for semester long internship and for some, uh, summer fellowship. Okay, so there is no elig eligibility like uh, if you are um, studying in the first year, if you have passed out of your um, uh, college course, so there is no such bar. Even, um, you know, uh, corporate people can also enroll themselves. So the summer fellowship will be announced around the end of March or the beginning of April. So please stay tuned. You can uh, follow my, uh, my LinkedIn account. Okay, I um, always announce all these, uh, you know, uh, programs whenever such announcements are um, are given by FOSITY. And for all these activities, we pay you honorarium. We pay honorarium for the case study, research migration, case study upgradation, okay, everything, summer fellowship, same long internship, everything. And we also give you certificates. We uh, provide e-certificates for all your participation. Uh, and the most important thing is you your name will be displayed on the CFD FOSI website that you can refer throughout your student life, throughout your career ahead as an academician or as a corporate personnel. So this um, mention in the FOSI URL uh, is more important as compared to your certificates. Okay, because this URL will contain your work. So whenever, suppose you are applying for a promotion, you're applying for a job, you can always refer that I have done this work and this is actually verified and uploaded. So your uh, examiner can actually visit the website and see what all work that you have done. So there are people who actually does, uh, submits more than uh, two case studies. Some of the uh, summer fellows, some of the semester long internships, they actually continue the work throughout the year after the semester, I mean, after the internship ends also. The, so they carry on this work. They actually submit say four to five cases also sometimes. Okay, and jobs, um, I have given a star because Whenever there are vacancies, I, we announce and we also recruit people as full-time uh, staff members of FOSI. And most of our uh, staff members are our passed out, our former uh, case study project students, research migration students, or our uh, semester long internship or um, summer fellowship students. So we always uh, you know, uh, take uh, recruit from them because we have trained them and they are also very uh, you know friendly with the FOSI project. Okay, uh, so partnership opportunities for the faculty faculty members. So we have something called the called the faculty partners. So we have attended the attended the lectures by uh, Professor Dheeraj Garg, Professor Narin, Professor Raghavendra Gupta. Uh, so all of them are our esteemed faculty partners. So there are three levels of faculty partners. We we call them coaching partners, executive partners, and senior executive partners. And the main activities are involved in uh, student guidance, contribution in workshop, like uh, taking such sessions, and also outreach, wherein uh, they, um, they actually call other students, other college students or faculty members in their own institute, and they uh, conduct a seminar, you know, uh, uh, collaborating with us. So this, this kind of outreach activity also they does. So this is all, the, uh, this is all about the uh, faculty participation. Details can be found in the faculty partners tab of uh, cfd.fossi.in. Okay, let me uh, unmaximize my screen and take you to the CFD FOSI website. So this is the cfd.fossi.in website. You will get all the informations over here. 
So you can see the case study project here. Okay. Uh, in the in the left hand side panel, if you click on the completed case studies, you will get the whole list of case studies solved by other uh, students. Hmm? Not the IT Bombay students, but also other students. You can see the name of the universities. Okay, I'm just scrolling down. Just you can go through all the names. IT Bombay, you will get uh, more because Professor Janani takes a course here and all the students upload their cases here. So IT Bombay, uh, you can find more number. You can also see uh, a university from Nepal, Tribhuvan University, from Jaipur, from Guwahati. Okay, so all over India, students work with us and they, uh, and you know, but I was talking about the URL reference. So here, if you click on the link, the case study is actually downloadable. You can download the actual case study in a zip file. Let me click, click on it and show you. Somehow I cannot, it's not working. So not a problem. Let me show, show you the uh, research migration project. And now it got up, downloaded. So when I download it, I think you cannot uh, see the screen, right? The download thing. Huh? OK, mm -hmm. so I just downloaded it. And here is the case file. So you can actually download the cases and see. You can refer them anytime. So similarly, we have the research migration project. In the left hand side panel, similarly, you can see the completed research migration. So the output of the summer uh, fellowship or the semester long internship can be in the form of uh, either summer, uh, either the case studies or in the form of research migration. So here are the list. Of yes, any comment from anybody? OK, fine. It was a mistake, I think. OK, so from resources tab, you can actually um, refer to the spoken tutorials. So you can see start learning open form uh, using spoken tutorials of, on open form. The, the spoken tutorials that you uh, actually used during this workshop. So you can see the list starting from the basics till the advanced level. Okay, so for the faculty members, let me show this. The faculty members can refer this faculty partners tab, uh, uh, tab and then you can click on any of the links to view our recent uh, faculty partners and their work. Everything is listed over here. Okay. So also we have um, honorarium for all the activities and you can check the honorarium amount also. It's uploaded here, honorarium tab. Okay, so please go back and explore this website. I'll stop sharing one second and present my presentation. Yeah, so here um, is a list of software that uh, FOSI offers. So FOSI not only offers training on, uh, open uh, on open phone, but it has a list of other software also. So I'll, I'll quickly walk you through all the software offerings uh, from FOSI. Uh, so, uh, and all these software are catered for uh, specific uh, engineering uh, and science backgrounds, uh, in, including arts. So uh, let me start with uh, Scilab. So Scilab is an uh, open source alternative for MATLAB. And uh, students from any background can use it uh, specific to their need. It's a computational, uh, uh, numerical computational software. Okay, Python is a general purpose, high level dynamic programming language, and it is very much in use uh, by the academicians as well as the corporate people. eSIM is an EDA tool, electronic design automation tool uh, for circuit designing, simulation and PCB, uh, PCB designing. And uh, eSIM is developed by the FOSI team of IIT Bombay. Okay, now let me talk about FLOS, uh, FLOS Arduino. FLOS Arduino is an open source hardware to, uh, to perform embedded system experiments on Arduino Uno boards. OSDAC is a software used for designing steel structures, mainly used for the steel industry. 
DWSIM is a software used by the chemical engineers for flow sheeting. Okay. So I hope many of you are from chemical background here because uh, people from chemical uh, background use CFD as well as flow sheeting, right? So open modlica is also used by chemical background people. It is a modlica based uh, modeling language for modeling, simulating, optimizing, and analyzing complex dynamic systems. Open PLC is, a, is again another open source uh, hardware tool. It's open source programmable logic controller. Hmm? To, uh, to give a hands-on PLC programming experience, mainly uh, this uh, our target audience for open PLC is the polytechnic students, but engineering background uh, students can also use it. R is a uh, software for statistical computing, and uh, as data is everywhere, so we highly recommend that you learn R. That is going to be uh, an add-on to your CV. Okay, So wherever you apply, whatever work you, uh, you do, you can very easily compile your data and present if you learn R and if you use R. Uh, now let me come to QGIS. Uh, we call it FOSI GIS now. It's uh, a free and open source geographic information system application, GIS application. Mainly uh, the people from geo uh, geo geography and geosciences background use FOSI GIS. Uh, Focal uh, is an open source uh, software for computer graphics. Uh, to make computer graphics, to make to design 2D and 3D animation. So you can see that all the uh, software of FOSI is not uh, targeted towards engineering, code engineering students, even students from geography background, from arts background, from core science background, like even open form is used by uh, people from mathematics and physics background. So FOSI caters the need of uh, the education as a whole. Okay, now uh, here are the contact of uh, FOSI and OpenFOAM team. So the OpenFOAM team contact is contact CFD at the rate Please note it down. Uh, and uh, we are getting many mails from uh, the participants now in contact CFD. So you can write to us anytime for any, if you also get a very basic problem, please don't feel shy. Please write to us. Our team will be happy to help you. Okay, and if you have query re related to any other FOSS uh, other than OpenFOAM, please write to us at FOSSI at the rate Sorry, info at the rate fossi.in. Okay, and fossi.in is our parent website. Now let me come to the last slide of my presentation. I'll end the presentation with a vote of thanks, and then we'll move forward with uh, John's brief talk on how can you, uh, part, uh, you know, contribute in the open in the case study upgradation uh, project. Okay, so first of all, let me thank the Ministry of Education, Government of India for funding this project, for funding FOSI. I would like to thank IIT Bombay because this project is being developed at IIT Bombay. Although we have many partners from all over India and abroad, but the, uh, you know, the resources that we get from IIT Bombay are very important for us. So I would like to thank the faculty members from IIT Bombay, Professor Kannan Modgalia, who is not there with us today because he's traveling abroad. So Professor Kannan cannot join the meeting today. And uh, Professor Kannan leads the team of FOSI. Uh, he is the principal uh, principal investigator of the FOSI project as a whole of IIT Bombay. Professor, Professor Janani and Professor Manaswita are the co-PI, co-principal investigator of open form category of FOSI. Okay, we thank Professor Avishek Ranjan for the talk he delivered. We thank, uh, we thank Professor Amol Subedar and Professor Partha Goswami uh, for the support uh, by his students. We, we thank the, fa the faculty partners, Professor Chandan Bose, who is the advisor of the Open Form team of FOSI, Professor Hari Krishnan, Professor Mani Maran, Professor Narain, Professor Dhiraj, Professor Raghavendra, and Dr. Abhishek for, the, for their uh, sessions. All of them have has taken an excellent theory sessions in, the, in this workshop. Now let me come to uh, acknowledging our FOSI staff members, Mr. John, Mr. Biraj, Mr. Harish and Mr. Sanjay. Sanjay could not be present in the uh, workshop because he's also a student here in IIT Bombay, uh, being a part-time staff of uh, the Open Form team of FOSI. Uh, hence, he, uh, he could not uh, attend the software because he has exams. But he has also contributed in the workshop, so thanks to him. And uh, Mr. John, Mr. Biraj and Mr. Harish, uh, they have put uh, their heart and soul in the project. I respect their responsibility, their punctuality, and their dedication towards the workshop. I also would like to thank Ms. Usha Vishwanathan and Ms. Vinita Gavri. They are the senior managers of the FOSI project. 
I would like to thank Ms. Preeti from the NME ICT team, Mr. Deepak, especially from the studio team, the studio team as a whole, and Mr. Deepak, uh, especially, uh, because he has been my contact person for all the problems during the workshop. I would like to thank Mr. Prathamesh Bobade uh, from the Chemical Engineering Department of IIT Bombay for because the link that we are using uh, in this workshop has been generated by him. For the hands-on session uh, support, the technical, uh, the technical support that we got from Mr. Panay, Mr. Krishna, Mr. Kunal, Mr. Malyadip, Mr. Ashley, and Mr. Abhushan Regmi are really uh, a lot. So all of you have done very well. So with this, I end my presentation and I would just like to uh, hand over to John. He will talk uh, very briefly about the uh, case study upgradation project. Okay, and then we will have, we will, I will request uh, Professor Manasvita and Professor Janani to uh, just interact with the participants and uh, lead and inspire them. Uh, so dear students, uh, so uh, as you have seen that we have done hands-on session or using open form nine. No, and uh, you saw on the website, we have various case studies and research pro migration projects uh, that were submitted to the FOSI website. So they are nearly, you know, approximately around 200 case studies uh, that we have. But uh, what we are seeing is that uh, with change in the open form version, there are certain compatibility issues that you might have also faced, you know, when uh, we gave you the files and someone of you, you know, they had installed the older version or the newer version. So with every version change, you know, open form will change the structure a little bit here and there. You know, they may combine two solvers and make them one. So certain functionalities don't work and certain functionalities have a, a slight change in their name. So we, what we want is that whatever resources available with us, you know, should be, should be able to be used by uh, the other students who are using the newer versions. So with this in mind, you know, we have this, uh, you know, case study upgradation process. In which uh, what you would have to do is uh, take this uh, case studies that are available with us you know, and upgrade it to the latest version. So case files and everything is there. You have to run and you have to see what error message it is throwing. Generally, it is you know very simple error message. You know, like uh, maybe the edge uh, constant uh, type of a uh, uh, what you can say uh, fluid uh, uh, fluid fluid property has been changed to e constant. You know, something like that. So some minor changes here and there, and then, uh, you know, you recompile it and run it and check if it is running properly. Hmm. So this is what, uh, what is the work. And, and, and at the end of that, maybe create a small document, one page, you know, stating what were the changes that you made in the file structure. Hmm. And uh, after doing that, you, uh, you just upload it. Hmm. And uh, uh, along with that, we also want uh, you to uh, suppose if you are doing a case study, so suppose if I do a case study and Biraj does a case study, so what I'll do is I'll do my case study upgradation and maybe I will peer review the one that Biraj has done to see that it is working so that, you know, we have a system in place where we uh, each one of us maybe does upgradation of a case study and also checks whether the case study upgraded by somebody else works. So with this, uh, I, how will this be helpful to you? So as you know that the more you explore this, the more you will learn, right? Every day you are finding something, uh, something new. So this will help in your, uh, what you can say, in you learning open form, as well as it will give you exposure to the different uh, applications where people have used uh, open form. And along with this, uh, what FOSI is offering is uh, offering an honorarium uh, of 500 rupees per case study. Am I correct, ma'am? Yeah. So it is also mentioned on our website. So this is also an added benefit. So in your in your free time. You can work, you can uh, support this, get to learn and also earn. So this is a scheme. So if you have any uh, a, uh, question regarding this, you can write to us. Uh, it is also mentioned on our website. So uh, that's it. Thank you. Uh, Professor Manasvita, if you can just uh, uh, speak a few words to the participants who are there. So I hope you had a great time. How was it? What is your experience, anyone? Great, ma'am. You will you learn something? Yes, ma'am. I learn a lot. Okay. It's a wonderful workshop for open form and enhance my learning ability to understand the basic governing equation and more discretized way and better understanding we develop right now. Okay. Very nice. And anyone else? 
Uh, yes, ma'am. This workshop is very wonderful. Uh, I got uh, knowledge from installing the open form to up to run some cases. And uh, I would like to thank you to all the team members like Don Tito sir and Hari sir and ma'am uh, who guided us a very wonderful way. And this is very helpful uh, workshop to understand the open form and run the cases. Okay. Anyone else? Thanks, ma'am, for this opportunity, and I hope such types of uh, workshop also uh, also conducted yes. in future yes. so that I will learn. Thanks for all the participants. Very nice. Anybody else? Um, hello, ma'am. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm Khudar. I'm from Aerospace Department in IIT Bombay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you all for this beautiful workshop. It was really useful, and we learned a lot from different uh, uh, like sections of open form and engineering in general. Uh, but I have one question uh, mm -hmm. related to uh, implementing different solver in open form. Will this kind of uh, workshop will be provided in the future? Different kinds of solver. Uh, like, for example, I have uh, my own solver, right? I in-house kind of uh, solver. So if I want to, or if I, if I wish to implement it in open form, would 4C project uh, help in that direction? Like programming yes. in open form? Yes. Okay. Like, how I can I... That would be a very interesting thing to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Programming in open form, like application wise, I think there are, we have learned a lot and there are many uh, available uh, tutorials online. But the only problem that I have uh, faced is that uh, there is very less uh, resources regarding programming, like how to learn the, the back end of the open form, learning classes, learning uh, how to manipulate the uh, different uh, components of open form. <laughs> Yeah, so you know, I I am very happy that you have asked this question because you know, if, uh, if you're interested in uh, programming, that's a long route. But yes, we always encourage that. And I think um, we started working with one of our joint students. We have started looking at this uh, immersed boundary method, uh, coupled with open foam. And uh, we always encourage that. I think you know there's a, there is we can work with it. we can work for that. Okay. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. So I don't think I mean I'm not too sure whether we'll be able to run a workshop because it is very specific interest. The workshops are for larger interest, but mm. you know working together towards. A particular problem to develop the code and all that option is always there. Okay, great, ma'am. Then I I should uh, reach out to uh, to you for, regarding that. Yes, if there is uh, a particular interest, of course, yes. Yes, thank you so much. So uh, I would like Professor Janani to also uh, speak something about the workshop to the participants. Hello, good evening, Professor Manasuta. Hi, thank you. Yeah, hi. So, good evening, everyone. I hope all of you, uh, I'm sure, would have enjoyed um, these six days. So, uh, for us, the, um, uh, you know, the workshop has typically been a three-day event, um, you know, where we try and teach students um, very basics. And I think this is the first time we have attempted a six-day, uh, more uh, slow-paced, uh, more exhaustive learning to um, of open form. And that has only been possible because of all of the faculty members who have been involved, who have invested their time and uh, kind of tried to go exhaustively into each of the topics given to, uh, you know, or taken up by them, right? So I hope that this workshop has been useful to all of you. I, I could understand from the feedback that we received uh, that, uh, you know, it has helped, right? Now, what I would like to say is it doesn't end here. Um, so just as uh, 
you've kind of taken the first step into open form um and what would uh, lie ahead like um, you know one of the students raised the point that you know i would like to really start coding and how do i go about uh, doing that um so as far as fossi is concerned we are trying to and we are well into the intermediate level tutorials albert i don't think that is the uh, coding part we do have an advanced set of tutorials in the pipeline um i, I would probably believe with the timeline it'll take uh, several months for us to get it done um but if um if you know students are interested you can propose that as a case study um you know some part of the implementation that you would like you can propose it as a case study problem and then we can probably halfway through engage with you to help you do that um so that is the first thing so open form is completely community driven so i i i i would request you to also contribute back right in several ways that uh, pail has mentioned to you so um i encourage you now to come up um, you know even for your own research interest problems engage with us through case studies with semester long workshops and that way the central pool of uh you know available understanding of open form rises even as far as coding is concerned um the other initiative that we are still doing is um trying to build a gui for open form i think we are we are about done with the block mesh part of it and some amount of the solvers but um you know even if you are someone who's interested who has python capabilities and has this interest with open form background and gui development you can reach out to us uh, and of course we will kind of try and evaluate and walk you through it we don't expect you to be uh, you know experts but uh, any interest along those lines will also be greatly encouraged so we're looking to try and build a gui uh, some intermediate advanced tutorials and hopefully we come up with an advanced level workshop as well um but that will take some time but in the meantime you can still engage with us with other um case study or research migration like activities where we'll be happy to help you out so um so what i would like to find out from you is um what is it that you would like to go now and do as far as uh, we've given you certain resources we have taught you the workshop in a certain way so i would like to know um what is your thought on how you would go ahead and learn open form next what is the resource not specifically ours but anything else right so anything any other resources you would like to what would you like to go now and do which area uh, you know coming out of this workshop now what is the next thing you're going to do about open form is what i would like to know because we want to see uh, where we're going ahead with the seeds that we have sown so you can just type on your uh, chat box anything that comes to mind what is the next thing you would like to do with the open form okay yes so alsar says coding with open form absolutely anyone else i know the 6 days has been exhaustive but uh, uh guys come on so what what would you like to do with open form uh, hello madam this yes, is shanmu well i am a postdoc yes. in iit bombay hi uh, my during my phd i was working in a uh, crystal growth i mean silicon crystal growth okay. i we used cgsim software which is commercial mm -hmm. software and we have to pay annually 10 lakh around 10 lakh plus mm -hmm. yes this open form i mean it it will be much much helpful i think and i was looking for some platform like this to develop our own thing so that we can have more control of on parameters changing changing the parameter. so Absolutely. i'll start immediately with the open form for my purpose for silicon growth happy to hear that happy to hear that see the, the important the reason i ask these question is because what we see now is industry is extensively moving towards the open source software open form because of the uh, you know coding capability um of course some other com commercial softwares are more stable but they they are extremely expensive and in some cases they are not available to the company so india is moving towards open source software 
outside worldwide also both in research if you want to be a research student several of our uh, uh, you know people have moved on to uh, being research students abroad they've been in companies placed across the country so i i would really encourage you to kind of visualize what is the area that you want to be in and try and see if open form fits there it would we've seen that and i see interesting options of exploring open form with 3d printing absolutely um uh, this time in our class we're trying to see if we can uh, look at ml with open form so i think there is a lot of avenues only because open form is flexible it does require some um you know fighting with i'm not i'm not going to sugarcoat it but it's not going to be difficult for someone who really wants to invest the time so i think it's a really big value addition both to your research problem statement but also to your cv okay so with that please fill in the feedback form uh, because a lot of your feedback from the previous workshops has more, what has brought us here right so we uh, request you to be with us help us grow better and maybe come and join us as well um, you know to become yourself better but to also make us better okay so with that um, over to pile and thank you all for being with us for these six, six days yes thank you so much ma'am for your in inspiring talk and thanks to professor manaswita also thanks a lot to each and everyone for joining and for making this workshop a success